For today's Mousetrap Monday video, we're going to do a head-to-head -head competition between a brand new 3D printed mousetrap and one that's over 100 years old. So leave a comment down below with your guess of which trap is going to catch more mice in the barn. Now I found this 3D printed mousetrap for sale on Etsy and I was really excited to test it out because it's based on a very old model. It was first patented on July 18th, 1876 by John Morris and he called his original mousetrap the Delusion. It appeared for 50 years in different hardware store catalogs and sold for around $3 per dozen. And for a half a century, it was by far the best selling mousetrap with millions sold under different brand names, including the Delusion, Household, Mascot, Catch Em Alive, Catch Em Quick, Look Out, and Family. And with millions of these traps being made over the years, there's still quite a few originals available to collectors. Here's a small sample from my collection. I have over 20 different models with different manufacturers and labels. Without a label, they sell online for around $20 to $30. But with a label, the price goes up to several hundred dollars each for the early models and around $100 for the more common ones. And it's pretty rare to find one with a paper label because on the instructions, they tell the user to drown the mouse in a bucket of water once you catch them. And a paper label doesn't last very long after you do that. So these traps have survived over the decades and this trap being from the 1800s still works perfectly. I can't wait to test them out compared to our modern 3D version. The way you catch a mouse is it enters trying to get the bait through a hole right here. When it goes inside, it steps on a teeter-totter that closes the door. It can't get back out except through this one-way door in the holding chamber and when it steps off the teeter-totter, it resets. This design hasn't changed and it works really well. My biggest concern is how many mice we can fit inside this holding chamber. The modern 3D printed one has a larger holding chamber. The old ones were pretty small and could usually fit two or three mice in there before you had problems with them fighting and killing each other. These traps are designed to be a multi-catch live trap and I can't wait to see which one catches more mice. There's bait in the traps and the original trap has a latch so I'm not worried about mice getting inside and lifting up the door. But this one doesn't have a latch and I'm kind of concerned they might escape. So I'm going to place a brick on top. Then we're going to set up the motion cameras and see how many mice we catch. Well, the clear winner was the original. There's a reason why this style of mousetrap was used for so many years. This holding chamber is full of mice, but that's not the case with a 3D printed version. It kind of sticks and mice would go in there, but it wouldn't close. So the tolerances on the trigger system aren't good enough and it turned into a feeding station. So this is more a reproduction than a working model. It's still cool to see a 3D printed mousetrap, but the original is so much better. Now what we caught in here is a native species of mouse called a deer mouse. Because it's part of the natural ecosystem and because we caught these mice in a live catch trap, I'm going to take them out in the wild and set them free. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over a thousand videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Now let's take this outside and set these mice free. Okay, we'll pull open the latch here and flip it open. Oh, you can see them. Come on out. One, two, three. Well, it's time to clean up this mousetrap and put it back in the collection. It's now retired. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a mouse problem, please consider clicking the link in the description and purchasing one of the mouse traps I invented. It's called the Dizzy Dunker Mousetrap, and I consider it to be the greatest mousetrap ever made.